Jamie's behind the door. I want to tell you about five things today, and they're all connected, and I'll tell you how they're connected once I've told you all about them. The first thing I want to tell you about is a man named Jean-Pierre de Vogue, who, according to Appleton's Cyclopedia of American Biography, was a captain in the Spanish army who heard about the Mountain of Wealth in Brazil and became an explorer looking for the Mountain of Wealth. Uh, but it would seem as though he was captured by Indians and died in captivity before he could find the Mountain of Wealth. Thing number two is the town of Argleton in the conservative controlled district of West Lancashire, population unknown. Number three, a popodabalia, which despite being an excellent word to say, presuming I'm pronouncing it right of course, uh, was a Greco-Roman sport, an ancient Greco-Roman sport, which according to this rough translation from the German Encyclopédie de Antique, is an ancient sport, probably an early forerunner of the modern football. However, details are not known. Thing number four is the amazing stone louse, which despite being only about two centimetres long, consumes up to 28 kilograms of stone every day. It lives off stone. And finally, thing number five is a woman named Lillian Virginia Mountweasel, who in 1963 turned from a fountain designer to a photographer, and she photographed things such as New York buses and cemeteries in Paris. She apparently died aged 31 in an explosion whilst on an assignment for Combustibles magazine. So what's the link? Well, none of these things have ever existed. Most of those things are believed to be copy traps. They're things that have been purposefully inserted into reference books so that if anyone chooses to make their own reference book and copy the information from your reference book, you'll know that it's copied because they'll have also copied the fake article. Now, as none of these things have ever existed, these pictures are obviously not real. I just pulled them off Google Images. The only one that does have a picture is the stone louse. Now, this obviously isn't the stone louse. Here's the picture of the stone louse. Obviously, a massive fake. The stone louse isn't a copy trap. The stone louse uh, was originally part of a parody of nature shows in Germany, uh, where it's known as the Steinlaus. The parody was extended into German clinical textbooks uh, the Clinical Dictionary uh, Skyrim Bell. It was published in the Skyrim Bell in 1983 and was published all the way up until the 257th edition where it was omitted but reinstated in the following edition due to angry protests. A Papadabalia is a real entry in the German Encyclopedia of Antiquity. Here's the original entry. As I said, I only got a very rough translation, but broadly speaking, it translates to a Papadabalia was the precursor to modern day football. Jean-Pierre de Vogue, the explorer, was also a real encyclopedia entry. Here's the full text of it. Argleton, again, not a real place. This is how I depicted Argleton. This is actually Crewe. This is where Argleton appeared on Google Maps. It's a field. It existed on Google Maps until 2010, where it was discovered and taken down. And finally, Lillian Virginia Mountweasel. Again, not a real person, but her name is the one that is used to generally describe these fake entries. If a fake entry is in a book somewhere, it is known as a Mountweasel, a copyright trap designed to deter people from copying books. Well, I hope you found that as interesting as I did. Uh, if you have any others that you know of, or go searching for fake entries, leave them in the comments, because I'd like to go and read them myself. <laughs> Bye! Who's behind the door?